Hey guys, today I have got a page in my Life Crafted album for you and I am using the June Life Crafted kit from Citrus Twist. This whole page basically started with that one Snuggles die cut. Um, as soon as I saw it, I knew I had the perfect photo for it. Um, and actually at the time that I filmed this, I didn't know exactly how perfect this was going to be. So um, I printed out a full page photo and you can see, well, maybe you can't, it is very light today, uh, that I already had a couple of um, just white cardstock full pages uh, for my life crafted album. I have these pre-cut. It makes putting together these pages super easy. The size is five by eight and a quarter and I keep a little stash of them pre-cut already in my album. Now to go with the Snuggles die cut, I knew that there were some other sort of floral elements in here uh, that kind of matched the colors, uh, as well as that really pretty frame. So that's the color scheme I'm gonna go with. My photo is not sort of super heavy color wise, so I can really go with whatever I want. And there are a lot of really pretty purple elements in this kit, so that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm just having a look through here and pulling out just a few of those little florals. And then I am going to choose the purpliest, lavenderiest paper that is in this kit. I love it. Uh, and I'm going to use that as a background for my left hand page. Um, and as soon as I've cut that out and uh, glued that on, you'll finally be able to see that I do have two pages here. So I'm going to print out a second photo. I've taken a couple photos of me and Lil snuggling in the sunshine. Uh, and so I just printed that so that it is going to fit inside that frame. And I'm going to add that to the left hand side of my spread. So I'll trim this photo down. I am leaving a little bit of space, just a little bit of space that I've got room to actually adhere this photo into the frame. And while I have got my paper trimmer out, I am going to trim down the six by eight paper so that it will fit. Uh, this is why I have the base cards for the album done. They're five by eight and a quarter. Uh, the six by eight papers, however, are not quite big enough to do a full page. So I always end up backing them onto a piece of card like this. Uh, and so I have just trimmed down uh, this six by eight, just widthwise, uh, so it's slightly shorter than five inches. Now I'm using a little Tim Holtz distressing tool just to rough up the edges a little bit, just to give this page just a tiny bit of texture. Not going to be a whole lot, but I couldn't really, um, couldn't really be bothered going over to the sewing machine. It wasn't threaded at this point, so I decided instead of stitching, I would just add that tiny little bit of distressing, uh, and that would be enough to show that there was kind of two layers of paper there. So I will just adhere this on to the background and I'm just using a little bit of tape runner. It's nothing too heavy, but I know it will be stuck enough. And then I need to uh, re-punch the holes um, because the lavender paper that I've added has then covered up those holes on my base. Um, I just use a six, uh, six hole hole punch. Uh, and if you take the bottom off, you can flip it over. I can make sure that those holes are all aligned. Um, I just originally punched them so that they lined up with the page protectors for the album. And that way all of the pages will be exactly the same. So finally, you can see here, I do have a two page spread for my album. Um, I'm gonna add my photo to this little frame and I'm gonna use uh, just a little bit of liquid adhesive to do that. Just because the frame, the edges of these frames are uh, very thin and it sometimes gets a bit messy using a tape runner to do that. So I just run a little line of PVA glue around there. I just use a, like a fine, fine tipped bottle. Uh, it makes an application like this very simple and that will stick in no time. There's not a lot of glue on there, so um, it doesn't take a long time to dry. Now I'm gonna add my original Snuggles die cut to the sort of bottom of that frame, just, uh, <laughs> it frames. It frames the photo of me and uh, Lil nicely and becomes a kind of title for the page. Just so this sticks out off the page a little bit, and one of the advantages of using a Life Crafted album, um, I can add just a little bit of craft foam in behind that um, before I adhere it onto the page. Um, it's what I love these albums for. It means you can do things that are a little bit bulkier than what I would normally put in a traveler's notebook. Now I've got these matching florals and I'm gonna add them onto my photo 
just to cover up some of the kind of distracting backgroundy pieces uh, that are in my photo but also it just pulls some of those colors over there like I said it's not a particularly colorful photo um, it's just me and Lil that are the focus and so the flowers just help to kind of frame us a little bit more I'm just using some tape runner I'm overlapping them on the edge and then I am going to trim those off with my scissors As well as these three larger florals, I decided that I would make use of um, a few of the smaller ones as well. And I'm gonna add one of these kind of bud looking flowers uh, down the bottom here, just to kind of tie that sort of pink, darker pinky, purpley, violety kind of flower at the top to tie that color in a little bit more. Uh, and again, because I'm working in a Life Crafted album, I can really easily just add a little bit of craft foam behind that just to give it a tiny bit of dimension so that it stands out from the other two flowers that it's with so I'm just cutting out a tiny little square I did have to nip one corner off so that it would fit onto the actual bud piece and then I added some tape runner to the bottom stem so that I could actually make the the flower stand up but the stem is stuck straight onto the photo again overlapping the edge so that I can trim that off this sort of dimension is reasonably difficult to see uh, in a video like this, but in real life it stands out much more. Now I didn't actually add any journaling to this spread so far, so I decided to pop in a 3x4 uh, insert as well, because I knew that there were a couple of these journaling cards that matched these papers and colours perfectly. I love that floral one and I'm actually going to use both sides of both of those cards. It couldn't really possibly have worked out any better. I don't need to back them with any pattern paper or anything like that. They both coordinate perfectly with the spread that I've put together. So this bottom card, the back of the card, I am just doing the same thing. I'm going to layer a couple of flowers on there. One of them I am adding foam to, that same little bud one that's on the right hand side and I'm doing the exact same thing. Foam on the bud and then tape runner on the stem hanging off the edge so that I can trim the bottom off and I'm going to add just a little embellishment at the top, the top journaling card there I am actually going to add my journaling onto there and so the bottom card I wanted to embellish but to keep it a little bit on the simple side just to match the style of this spread uh, and so I am going to add just another one of these uh, really pretty purple elements which are these tiny word stickers. I love them. I just love this lavender color so much. I just tucked it underneath that raised flower and again that kind of emphasizes those layers. Now when I flip them over the Happy Thoughts card is totally perfect as it is. I'm not going to add anything to that one except the journaling onto the back and again I wanted to keep this bottom floral card super simple as well so I am just going to add another one of the tiny word stickers and then all I need to do is run my journaling card through my typewriter pop those journaling cards back into the insert and that is my spread all done. Now I'm a big fan of doing full pages in my Life Crafted album but it's even more fun to get to add these little journaling card inserts. I love the way it sits over top of the photos. It kind of pulls the whole spread together and I really love how that looks. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there are a couple more videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.